Not only that, dear brothers and sisters, but you know when you recite Qur'an, that's the, the easiest way to get angels to surround you is to start reading Qur'an. You know why? Because the angels have not been given the gift of the recitation of the Qur'an. And some of you are like, wait, what? The angels do not recite the Qur'an. يَسْتَمِعُونَ إِلَيْهِ They listen to it. There are only a few angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has actually given the gift of the recitation of it. Obviously Jibreel alayhi salam and some angels, but for the most part, the angels, they listen to it. So when you start to recite Qur'an in the Qur'an al-Fajr, كَانَ mashhuda. The angels witness that. The angels surround the people as they recite the Qur'an because they love to hear it since they don't recite it. SubhanAllah. So that's how the revelation comes to the Prophet ﷺ. Obviously there are numerous ways as to how Jibreel would teach the Prophet ﷺ. And even SubhanAllah, as Jibreel taught the Prophet ﷺ, Al-Ahruf, the multiple ways of recitation, the seven ways of recitation. Why? Because, you know, because the Prophet ﷺ, by reciting those seven ways of recitation, people would enter Islam very quickly because the different dialects were included in the recitation. And all of them were divine. How did that happen? The Prophet ﷺ says in the hadith in Abu Dawood that Jibreel came to me and told me, recite the Qur'an in the recitation that's been given to you. So he said, I started to read. He said, Jibreel was on my right side, Mikael was on my left, left side. Mikael said, istazidtu, increase him. So Jibreel taught me another recitation. Mikael looked at Jibreel again and said, istazidtu, increase him. So he taught me another recitation. Mikal said, istazidtu, increase him, until he said it seven times and the Prophet ﷺ was given seven different modes of recitation of the Qur'an. That's how it comes down to the Prophet ﷺ, that's how it was taught to him. And it's truly miraculous and magnificent that the Prophet ﷺ was able to bear that and remember it by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now what are some other ways that Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ? He did not stop coming to him in his dreams. So just because he was now manifesting himself with revelation, it does not mean that he stopped coming in his dreams. There are some other ways. In his dreams, he'd come to the Prophet ﷺ sometimes with Mikal. So sometimes the Prophet ﷺ saw Jibreel and Mikal together. One time he sees him and Jibreel and Mikal take him and they show him the punishment and the rewards of the grave. So the long hadith of Adab al-Qabr, the punishment of the grave and the rewards of the grave are Jibreel and Mikal pointing out to the Prophet ﷺ what is happening. Then he showed him Al-Jannah, paradise and hellfire. And the Prophet ﷺ was shown his home in paradise. He actually saw his house in paradise. So the Prophet ﷺ said, at that point I said to Jibreel and Mikal, Da'ani adkhuru manzili. Leave me now to enter my house. I don't want to go back. Let me get in now. And Jibreel alayhi salam, he put his, ha his hand on the arm of the Prophet ﷺ and he said, you still got some time in this world and then you'll enter inshaAllah. Okay. Another time the Prophet ﷺ said, I saw in my dream Jibreel and Mikal and Mikal said to Jibreel, give him an analogy, give him a method. So Jibreel alayhi salam, he said the analogy of the message or the parable of the message that has been given to you, Ya Rasulullah, is that of a, of a king who conquered a land. When the king conquered, conquered that land, he built a house in that land. And then when he built that house, he constructed that house, he spread a table spread with food on it. And he invited whoever wanted to come into that home. Jibreel alayhi salam said, Allah is the king. The land is Islam. The home is Jannah. The food is the food of Al Jannah. Wa anta ya Muhammad Rasulullah. And you, O Muhammad, are the messenger of Allah. Whoever responds to you has entered into Jannah and will eat whatever they desire of it. So Jibreel and Mikal are explaining to the Prophet ﷺ who he is and actually giving him amthal of what he represents and what his message represents.